reached a stage where one in ten young people has a diagnosed mental illness. There are many more that never even reach diagnosis but struggle behind closed doors. And we see that in schools every single day. In your bedroom, you self-harm. The argument is they're trying to raise standards across the board. Yes, but the increasingly anxiety and the pressure of our children is making them not want to go to school. It's making them stressed, it's making them nervous. At one end of the scale, we've got four-year-olds being tested. At the other end of the scale, we've got teenagers leaving school, facing the prospect of leaving university with record amounts of debt. Anxiety is the fastest growing illness in under 21s. These things are not a coincidence. Now these opinions that I'm presenting to you today, they aren't new. I've said it all in, in my columns for the Times Educational Supplement and at government level, I've said this. And they haven't made me very popular in certain circles, but I will continue to say them, because it's too important not to. Education doesn't mean anything unless it happens within the context of a healthy mind. Mm -hmm.